We noted that at the very beginning that you can only load fonts that are available on the user's machine. But that's not quite true. With CSS3, you can load your own fonts in. That comes with its own problems, in part because the fonts that are available uh, in a format available for IE are different from those from other browsers. And more importantly, it's hard to find a license that allows you to provide fonts over the web. Luckily, Google has provided something called um, the Google Web Fonts. Um, and they have a number of fonts that you can use simply by loading a style sheet from the Google Font API, Web Font API, which means that you can do a line or two of code and have these fonts available to you. So let's pick one. Um, let's try, for example, um, let's use Special Elite. So Special Elite looks like this. Um, how do we get that into our system? Well, we do it by loading in a second, um, uh, a second, the, the approved way of doing it at least, is to load in a second style sheet. A style sheet right in front of our regular style sheet here that loads in the font. And um, that one is called Special Elite. Note here that the name of it is has a plus in it because you can't, on the web, have URLs that have spaces. So we have a family here that's Special Elite for that value. Um, now that it's loaded in, and note that it has to come before our regular link, we can go into our style, and now if we want to, we can have a header that has um, something like Special Elite. That is, we can, this is header H1, and we've said font family special elite. We know that's going to be on the user's machine because we've loaded it onto the machine. Still a good idea to go ahead and, and do our what if it's not there all the way back to sans serif, our safety deck there. But we know that it's going to be there because we've just loaded it. Let's save that and make sure that we've saved that. And then we can go to the uh, page and we can refresh. And you'll see that it's added in that new font. We'd still have to do some spacing and issues like that, but it's added it in. What if you don't have access and you can't, for example, edit the HTML? Every once in a while, this is the case. You, for whatever reason, are working with a system where you only have access to the CSS. We're supposed to have complete separation, so you should be able to do this entirely in CSS, and you can. Um, at the very beginning of the CSS file, you can import other CSS files. I think I've made that capital, haven't I? Import um, URL, and that's a little at sign there. So at import URL, and then parentheses, and then, um, whoops, we don't need all of that. We only need, well, we'll have to edit it out, uh, this URL where the style sheet is, HTTP fonts or blah, 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 and the name of the font is uh, Special Elite. Special Elite. And we can close, oops, close the parentheses and semicolon. This command basically loads in another style sheet, which is how the Google Font API works. It gives you a style sheet you can use. So I'll save this, and, and I'll save this. And even though it doesn't have the link here, <clears throat> if we refresh here, we still get that font loaded in. So that gives us two ways to lo load in fonts um, through, uh, through a link that links to an external style sheet at Google API or through an import statement within our CSS to get to Google API.